It's been a while since I've ranted, and this is a good one. Someone recently told me they didn't like my intros where I welcome the viewers, so F you for clicking on my video. Roll the intro. 2K Games, we meet again. NBA 2K19 seemingly pushing the envelope further each year with what they can get away with. The 2K's head company, Take Two, Strauss Zelnick at the helm, a guy that doesn't even really play video games. He just cares about making money, but not just money. As Jim Sterling would say, he wants all the monies. Everything he can possibly make, he will do whatever he can to these games under Take Two Entertainment to squeeze every last penny out of everybody's wallet. What's going on? with 2K games right now? Well, NBA 2K19, it went on sale recently. And while sales usually mean it's a good thing, we can get this game on the cheap, I mean, hell, it was only $3. Why not buy NBA 2K19? Seems like a good deal for a AAA title that used to be 60 bucks. Man, this is a clearance item on the eShop. Let's go buy it. A lot of people did. And a lot of people had a rude awakening when it came to playing this game. Because in between game sessions and when you're starting the game up, the loading screen has full-on advertisements that are completely unskippable. And while some people might hear this and say, well, yeah, you paid three bucks for the game, that kind of probably goes along with it. You don't really have much to complain about, do you? What about the people that paid $60 for this game? That when they bought it, they were under the impression that this game was going to be a complete experience, which is kind of laughable these days when it comes to video games, but for a AAA title, they were expecting a full-fledged game, an NBA license, good, well-thought-out, well-put-together game without being bombarded with advertisements. But as time has gone on, unfortunately, that has changed because of the era we live in right now with the ability to update these games on the fly. Unfortunately, there are no laws, no rules in place to tell these publishers what they can and cannot do. We see companies like EA pushing the envelope when it comes to loot boxes or as they call them, surprise mechanics, not loot boxes. That's another discussion for another day. All these companies try to word things how they can make as much money as possible to get around any kind of laws and stipulations that may prevent them from doing it otherwise. They want to make as much money for their shareholders as possible. But when it comes to situations like what 2K Games is doing with NBA 2K19, it's a little bit too far because there are people that paid for this game full price and are now paying the consequences of the game getting older and if they want to keep playing the game unfortunately now that these companies have the ability to push updates and change the game and change the game mechanics completely on how it even works they have to sit through advertisements during loading screens which is a load of crap nobody should have to deal with that when they're playing a video game yeah i'm sure the people who bought it on sale really don't mind that much because hell they paid three bucks for the game but if they expected the full-on sixty dollar experience and got something that got transitioned into an ad filled game mechanic trying to squeeze microtransactions out of you type of game they're in for a world of pain unfortunately the gamers who paid for this game can't really do anything about it which is kind of the premise of this video in the first place the mechanics are sleazy they're slimy they're abhorrent they should not be allowed but the biggest issue with all of this is the lack of transparency on the part of 2k games if they're going to start instituting mechanics such as full-on advertisements during loading screens or putting in additional advertisements in the game world Gatorade or Nike or Reebok or Converse all these companies that want to get their names shown off and will pay good top dollar to do so, NBA 2K, they're going to take the money from these companies. 2K Games, from the perspective of a business, I can't really argue with that. If a company is saying, hey, we'll pay you this much money to put our brand in your game, yeah, I'd probably take that money. The problem is they're not informing the customers of what they're doing with these brands once they sell the game to them. And while it is unclear how long this has been going on for, it wasn't present when the game initially launched and it was recently picked up on and noticed more from people because it went on sale. Sometime between when it launched and when it went on sale recently, these full-on 30-second advertisements were placed into a $60 MSRP video game. The only way a customer can fight back is with their wallet, but unfortunately, if they already bought the game and this update gets added in after the fact, 
that's a load of crap because they can't do anything about it. It's beyond the time of returning the game and they have to deal with the consequences. That is the modern era of video games. And that's not even for 2K19 that's the issue. The problem goes into NBA 2K20 and beyond. What are they going to do with the future consoles? Many people have stipulated that those future consoles, since they're not going to have loading times, the SSDs on board are going to be lightning fast, that possibly there will be gameplay mechanics adding in loading times that are unnecessary, unrequired, just to squeeze ads into some of these games. And if customers keep buying them, these companies will keep doing it because there's nothing to say otherwise to them. They're making boatloads of cash up front from the sale of a full price $60 game with the property license of the NBA and then on the back end they're making money on microtransactions and then on top of that they're adding in advertisements from companies making money from them as well. It's a perfect storm of riches for these companies and horrible environments for gamers. And if gamers continue to buy these games as they go on, it's only going to continue to get worse. The idea of adding in an advertisement to a full price triple A title would be something like a Netflix charging you, what is it, eight, nine, 10, 12 dollars a month for Netflix. And then while watching your favorite Netflix show, Five minutes, ten minutes into it, they just stop it and throw in a 30 second ad while you're paying for the service. Although Hulu already does that, which is why I don't pay for Hulu. But this is what I'm talking about is companies already have the ability to do this. Some decide to squeeze more money out of the customers. Some decide to do right by the customers and let the customers decide what business they're going to put their money towards. And in this case, people need to know, the word has to get out, that companies like Take-Two and their subsidiary 2K Interactive are taking full advantage of the gamers. And the only way to fight back is to not buy the game going forward. And I don't typically ask for this, but this kind of video needs to be shared out. Because if people don't find out about this, it's only going to continue and unfortunately, going to get worse. That would be like me charging you to watch my videos and then throwing in an advertisement right now. Have you checked out SmashJT.com? It has all the latest information on video game news. You can join the Smashers Patreon, check out the Smash blog, go see other creators, the videos of the month, the featured creator, which is Gaming Off The Grid. Join the forums, participate in conversations, check out the gear in the Smash shop, and much, much more. Join now for free. This is something that you have to spend money on to be able to play the game. And unfortunately, people don't know any better. A lot of these gamers or these bro gamers that buy these systems, these consoles, just to play the sports games, don't know any better. Nobody told them that this is happening. And not only that, even if they were informed of it happening, they still move forward and buy the game. Why? because of exclusivity, because of these licensed properties of the NBA, the NFL, the NHL, MLB, all these companies signing exclusivity deals with specific companies like 2K Games, like EA, where they're the only ones able to sell that property. It's kind of like, hey, you want to play NBA? You got to play it through us if you want to be able to play the official one. That's a load of crap in itself because the exclusivity deal limits the market so that everyone has to buy that game. And because everyone has to buy that game, these companies can do whatever they want to it and gamers will just have to deal with the consequences. And until gamers start rising up and speaking with their wallets, nothing's gonna change. This is something that goes back, even NBA 2K18, I made a rant video talking about how abhorrent the microtransactions were, charging 99.99 for in-game currency to be able to upgrade your character for a game that you spend $60 on initially to play it, then you gotta spend another 100 just to upgrade your character to a playable point is absolutely ludicrous. Now people will say that's optional, you can play through, but the actual playtime Time to get to the point of the hundred dollars is insanity and that is what these companies prey on they take advantage of impatience and charging full price for a video game and being able to do that it's just mind-blowing then taking it a step further adding in advertisements adding in all these placards throughout the entire arena Reese's and Gatorade and Converse and you name it it's in there and unfortunately like I said if people keep buying the game 
nothing's going to change and because it's exclusive people have to buy that if they want to play a current version of an NBA game the marketing the way they spin it they can do whatever they want but people who play games know the only thing that really changes in these year after year is simply the roster and for some reason people have to get the latest and greatest every single year and because of that these companies are going to be able to keep taking advantage of the gamers until they rise up technology is the factor that allows the companies to do what they're doing the laws are not keeping up with it so unfortunately unless word of mouth spreads and people actually start speaking with their wallets nothing's going to change